easiest way to create a mobile menu in UIKit is to use a toggle to display off canvas content. I want this menu to display horizontally on medium and large devices. On small devices, it will toggle to an off canvas display. This is the finished menu. When I reduce the browser width, it displays the hamburger icon. And when I click that, you see the UI kit off canvas version of the menu. Now let's take a look at how that menu is created. We need a nav element with a class of UK navbar. Inside that goes our unordered list of menu items. This gets a class of UK navbar nav. The UK nav parent icon class will display the arrow that indicates which items have a submenu. On this first menu item, I use the icon tag to add a home icon for the home option. Items that have a submenu get the UK parent class and a data UK dropdown attribute. This one I've set to display the submenu on click. If you want it to display on hover, just remove the, the option part of that and just have the data attribute itself. So I have a submenu on this list item, but rather than being able to put the unordered list directly in the list item, you have to enclose that in a div first. That div gets two classes, UK dropdown and UK dropdown navbar. Then the list for the submenu gets classes of UK nav and UK nav navbar. All these classes can get a little confusing. This UK nav navbar is not the same class as the UK navbar nav. So just be careful which classes you use where. So this is the start of our navbar menu. Remember that was a set to open on click. And if I reduce the size, there isn't really any mobile menu displayed there. I'll begin creating the mobile display by adding a toggle. This link will display the content indicated with the ID off canvas one. Notice that the link has a data attribute of data UK off canvas. Here I have a basic div with that same ID, off canvas one. You don't have to use the name off canvas. It can be any name that you want. Just make sure you use the same name in the link and in the div. This gets a class of UK off canvas. Inside is another div with a class of UK off canvas bar. And in this example, I've just put some text and I've put in an inline style to make it display in white so it's visible on that dark background. There's the mobile link. I'll click that and that displays the off canvas element with our text displayed there. Just a side note, you can use off canvas to display any content you want. It's not just for menus. I've added more submenus to the menu. Now I'm linking to a div called off canvas and inside that div I've added the same menu. So we have the div with the ID of off canvas. We still need the UK off canvas bar div. The menu list goes inside that. The classes are a little different. You need the UK nav and a UK nav off canvas class. Still using the UK nav parent icon. 
and it gets a data attribute data UK nav. The list items that have a submenu get the UK parent class, but they do not use the data UK dropdown as they do in the main navigation. Just the class UK parent. Then the submenu list gets the class UK nav sub. Here's a list with the additional options in the nav bar. And when I click the mobile link, you see those same options, the same submenus with the accordion effect. I like this off canvas menu, but it does require duplication of the menu items. Adding or changing menu items will require changes to the horizontal menu code and the off canvas version. The last thing to do is to replace that mobile text link with a hamburger icon. On that link, we need to add a class of UK navbar toggle. And you can remove the text there. You don't need any text in the link at all. On the data attribute data UK off canvas, you can set the animation mode for that panel. The options are push, slide, reveal, and none. I have it set to slide. I only want the icon to appear on small devices. So on this link, I add a class of UK visible small. That means it will only be visible at the small width. And I don't want the rest of the menu displayed at the small width. So I add a class on the unordered list for that menu of UK hidden small. Make sure it goes on the list and not on the nav. Because this link is in the nav, we need the nav to be visible, just not the rest of the menu. Mobile text is gone. Now we drop down to where the menu disappears and we see the icon. Clicking that displays the off canvas element. I copied that menu code into the template file and I've added one last touch. I like to use sticky menus on all the sites I develop. I think it makes navigation easier. UIKit has a sticky component. If you want to use it, make sure you link to the JavaScript and the CSS files. There's the sticky CSS file and the sticky JavaScript. The menu div goes full width of the browser. So I put the data attribute data UK sticky on that div, the wrapper div for the menu. And then on the nav class, you need to add a UK nav bar attached and UK nav bar fixed classes. And that's all there is to it.